Hi, I'm Claire and this is my husband Nick. We met in an online chat room in 2001 and ended up getting married in 2006. We're a fairly normal, hard-working couple who love travelling and enjoying a drink or two. In early 2020, we decided we wanted a whole new life-changing challenge. So we said goodbye to our jobs. We sold our Wiltshire farmhouse we packed up our things and made the move to France. In early 2001, I went back to the UK to finalise our house sale and pick up my Arga. I was on Facebook on an Escape to the Chateau fan club page when I saw this advert. I messaged Nick the advert, curiosity got the better of him and he went and arranged a viewing. With the instructions from me, I trust your judgement, if you think I'll like it, Put in an offer. The offer was accepted and we finally got the keys on the 10th of June 2021. Join us and our dogs Merlo and Flora as we renovate our Maison de Maitre. Good morning, it's lovely and sunny but do not let the sun fool you into thinking it is warm. No, this morning it has been minus five and finally now, only nearing lunchtime, is it above five degrees? Just. However, I've braved the cold, I am semi-wrapped up and I've come out here to do a little job this morning which is to paint this old, manky, horrible, rusty roller shutter in grey because everything else is grey, like this door and you know, shutters and things, grey end to the building. And apparently this is doing my husband's head in because he can see it from where he sits occasionally in the kitchen. So for the sake of 10 euros and my precious time, I've decided to come out here, give this a coat of paint, and then we can hopefully get on with our lives. So I have my grey, brilliant anthracite metal paint and to open it I also have this wonderful fresh screwdriver. Ladies if you can't open a tin or something grab the nearest tool. You know that he's not going to put it back and you know what this year I ain't putting it back. It's your job honey. Look at that lovely grey and you can tell that it's a tin of French paint because there's about oh an inch and a half of paint missing from the tin. Tin and a half of paint down and I'm done. Um, there's not a lot more you can do with that. It really needs ripping off and chucking on a skip. It's rusty, it's horrible, it's horrible to paint. Yep, that's all I can say. Back here at the wall where I stripped all the render off where it was already coming off the wall um, and I repaired the guttering there, there and there. Um, I've had a look at the weather forecast and the next week it's actually due to be above freezing for all the week and all, you know, nights, days, everything. So it's an opportunity to get this recovered um, we've had a chat about it and what we're going to do rather than rendering it which is a complete surface we are going to do what they've done here and partially render it kind of point it but quite heavily to give you the hints that the stones are there but um, yeah so we think 
that will look better matched in. Now before we go ahead and do this, I'm going to test the guttering and uh, see whether my repair has worked. So, yeah. No. That one looks alright. And that's a no. Uh. Well, the good news is it's not dripping anymore. So, uh, yay. It's working. Yay. Great. So, uh, Gutter's fixed. So now we're going to get that wall repointed, and that's going to happen with a one part lime to a three part sand mixture with some water in the mixer for about half an hour to make sure it's mixed really well. Um, and once that's done, we'll get it on the wall. Obviously, lime is a pretty horrible product to handle, so um, PPE time. Right, well, that seemed easy enough. Guess I just need to walk away for a quarter of an hour and come back and see how it is. Well, that's been about 20 minutes or so now and I don't think it looked all right to me. Tip it out and uh, see if it'll stick to the wall, eh? Well, I've not been able to show you most of what I've been doing because of the number of expletives coming in from my mouth. Um, this is the first time I've ever done this, so not too sure how it's going to be perfectly honest. Um, inside this window thing I decided actually, because all the stones in there were quite recessed. I thought we'll do that bit completely smooth. <clears throat> um, and then I've done this sort of patch up here, which well, just to, to show you again, this is what I'm trying to replicate, where you kind of see the stones, you kind of don't. And I don't know if I'm doing this the right way or not. Um, there seems to be more as I'm working. I seem to be putting more on the floor than on the wall. Now I've read lots of things about you can overwork this kind of product, so uh, I'm going to leave it for tonight, have a little clean up, wash that stuff down so it doesn't set hard, and come back tomorrow. Um, a brush, that's what people use, a brush to sort of clean off the stones um, and then I'll have a look and see how we are in the morning.
Hey, right, well, it's uh, the morning after, the day before, and all of that. Um, I don't think it's actually looking too bad. I'm quite pleased with it. Um, nothing seems to have fallen off the wall and actually uh, gone quite hard already. Um, thanks to the dogs at four o'clock this morning, I was um, standing out in the yard and checked the temperature and it was, it was four degrees then, so we didn't have any frost and still not expecting any. So I'm um, going to carry on with this little project. I did check up on some videos yesterday and one thing that I think I need to do a bit better is, is clean out some of these joints a bit deeper. I've been, whilst I've got the render off, I need to muck, uh, get rid of the, the stuff between the, the blocks a bit better and then the new stuff can go in. Um, but there's sort of semi-render finish here. I think that's starting to go all right. All right, well. Best crack on. I think I'll start by getting the mixer on. So at the moment, that's just a dry mix of the sand and lime um, blending itself quite well together in there. I haven't yet added water. Now, on one of the videos I watched yesterday, gave some, gave a good hint, good tip. Um, is that actually before adding water into the bell mixer, take some of that mixture out. Then if I put too much water in there, I've got some dry mixture that I can then add back in to, to dry the, the whole lot up. So, I think today I'm going to do that. Okay, so um, well, whilst that's going round, I'll go and prepare a bit more wall. Come back in the next half hour or so, then come back and grab some of this mixture. And I have an assistant today. It's not happy. <laughs> um, yeah, she doesn't like working beneath me. This isn't some managerial hierarchical thing. It's just a physical, like having lime render dropped on her head. <laughs> Oh, what a beautiful day. My hair looks like Pat Sharp in Funhouse in the 80s. Now today, I have been upgraded. Doesn't happen very often, but today I'm being allowed to play with power tools. So I have 
a compressor and a small dog. <laughs> Fast forward and I have now got rid of the small dog and I have the compressor. Now, we bought this when we first moved in over a year ago and we've never used it for anything up until now. This morning, I was given a gift. Ladies, chocolates, roses. You don't want any of that. Nah, you want one of these. This is awesome. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but it attaches to the compressor with this handy piece of hose. And it's got this chiselly tip on the end of it that's got many interchangeable varieties on it and you press the button and you push it against the wall and it knocks out all of the crap that's in between the gaps therefore you don't have to hit it aimlessly for hours to try and get the concrete or the old bits of render out anyway this is my wall there are many like it but this one is mine it is a long wall it is not for the faint-hearted. I made this. I'm going to have at it. So, I'm going to see where this little tool and this compressor and time takes me. This wall has been shoddily, shoddily patched in areas with the gray being concrete. And I don't really know what that is. But my aim is to get all of the grack out of the cracks, I'm de-cracking, and then I'll fill them all back in. This is great, this thing. It's managing to get all of this old crappy render off the wall. I'm learning as I go, which is great. I'm learning that it's very hard for me to do this, but <laughs> I'm learning that keep your mouth shut, otherwise a stone flies in your mouth. Yeah, I could be wearing a mask, but I'm outside. It's a nice day. It's kind of nice to not have that restrictiveness at the moment. I may put a mask on in a bit, but keep your mouth shut, otherwise all of the crap from the wall flies in it. Also, it's a really, really good tool, but it's really, really heavy. Now, luckily for me, I've spent years actively working out my wrists. So I have strong, subtle wrists. Supple wrists, shall I say. No reasons why. Anyway, um, yeah, I've got strong wrists, so luckily I can hold it. But I would imagine that if you're doing this for like extended periods of time, your hand's gonna get a bit through. Um, Well, have a look, it's uh, coming on behind me. I've just chiselled some old concrete off from around there, which uh, um, I'm going to get on and get that pointed, as well as all along the bottom here has still to be done. That little area up there and all along there is done. Um, and I'm really pleased with how it's looking. Anyway, I'll uh, crack on with it and see if I can get this bit finished off today and uh, yeah. has been repointed. Um, I'm going to leave that overnight and then come out and just give it a, a light brushing over just to smooth off the rough bits that are there. But I'm going to leave it overnight. Um, 
I'm really pleased with that. Looking good, I think. What do you think? Lovely afternoon here. And when I started doing the wall yesterday, this is how far I got. It may not look much to the untrained eye, but I'm really starting to get all of the old crap out from between the, uh, the bits of stone. However, I am having the issue with this. This is where someone's gone over it in concrete and yeah, it needs to come out, but it's nigh impossible to blooming get it out. So this afternoon, thank you, Mr. Hen, Mrs. Hen. I'm going in with a different attachment. So I'm hoping that it may just get some of that concrete out. Although I am making progress, I do feel like this is going to take a little while. And I'm going to have breaks, I think, in between it, rather than just having at the whole thing in one go. Otherwise, I may go insane. I've now been going at this thing for about an hour and this is currently the result and um, I think I'm actually going to finally cut my losses and move on even if I bloody paint over the thing it's just it's too cementy if that's a word I'm further along the wall now and I want to show you the difference between trying to get the old kind of lime render off and how nice that is compared to trying to get this cement from hell off the wall so number one here's what render's like oh it's lovely it's satisfying it's like but here's render And here's what it's like with a patch of cement. Club. Hi, Hi and welcome to Wine of the Week. Uh, it's been a lovely week here, a uh, couple of times we've been able to sit outside in the sunshine. Yeah, we sat outside and had a cup of tea, didn't we? We did, didn't we? we? Good. Anyway, four, but I think it, it's not been our most exciting week, but there's lots of exciting things to come, so just bear with us. In the meantime this week, we have a lovely wine. A wine called Barricade. This was one that we got last year from the wine fair that we went to in Migron and it was from a lovely small producer. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try and put the link in bio to the producer so you can see more if you'd like to. I did pre-open this one. Let it breathe. Let it breathe. <laughs> so if you've enjoyed this week's episode, please click like. And if you've not already subscribed, please consider doing so. By clicking subscribe. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter or on our website at www.theexpatbutchers.com Yeah, Flora. Oh, do you want to have a sniff? You even need to get near that to get the aroma. Cool. Oh, it's very dark, isn't it? It is. Mm. Wow. Well, no more 
work today. Mm, that's a bit of all right. It is a word, isn't it? Yeah, cheers. Cheers. And cheers to you. Thanks for watching and we will see you next week. Bye.